Right guys, Gaffed is back with the explanation to the card trick that gets better and better and better. You are going to need a few things. Um, where's that special card? It's in here somewhere. There we go. This is a gimmick card I bought off eBay. It was about three pound, I think. It's just a regular um, red back card, blank with all the cards printed on it. This was just a bit of a gag to throw the spectator off the center a little bit. So I've got one of these, which I'm gonna put under the foil. That's gonna be my prediction. Um, I've also got a double backed bicycle red playing card. I've got my force blue backed Ace of Clubs. Now the Ace of Clubs has had Gaffer's favorite lipstick applied just down this edge so that when these two cards are together from this way I can spread this as one card but when I flip it over it should separate off that double backer so we've got that and I've also got a magnetic card with a blank face they're all blank um, this is literally two cards stuck together with a couple of magnets in between and then just stuck together You've then also got magnets inside your box. So this card will attract to the bottom of the box lock. That is just gonna hide this double backer in a minute. So the way the trick starts out, you've got your completely blank deck. You've got your prediction, the bit of a gag prediction. You're gonna start with your magnetic card on the top of the deck followed by your force card with the roughing balm on the left so when I push this way this double backer will cover it and then the double backer now this all goes into the box now if I put this in this way this is going to want to attract to the bottom of the box so I'm going to put it in this way just so I can get that magnetic card out otherwise it would actually stick to the box put this away right then I just want to show you something crazy. I've got a prediction here. We're going to place that aside. We'll keep that in full view the whole time. Now you're going to open these up, remembering this way around because it will want to stick to the bottom of the box. Take these cards out, leave the box somewhere close to hand because you're going to put the cards back in in a minute. Now get your spectator to give you any number between one and 52. They can actually say one if they want, but they cannot say two. You've got to steer them away from the number two. Any other number will work except for number two, because that is your magnetic card. So let's say they say the number 13. You're gonna push off this is that double card which did flash in my performance. Somebody spotted it, so you're gonna go one, two, that's your magnetic card, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You're gonna strip out the 13th card, which is a blank card. Place it on the top of the deck, and now you're gonna do a triple lift. A lot of you might think, oh, for God's sake. Don't worry, cause like I've said before, because you've got that hard card, you can get that triple every day of the week without even thinking about it. So you're just gonna do a quick triple lift and turn it over and show the ace of clubs. You're gonna push this card off, or oh, that stuck a little bit then, or peel it off, whatever. I don't know why that's sticking. I'll probably put a bit too much roughing balm on it but either way you're going to push off this ace put it on the table and this is almost like the trick is finished you're going to put these in the box because what that's going to do is going to steal the card they chose which is a blank card and it's going to hide this double backer so you can spread the cards in a minute so right we'll just put these in the box you'll now go to these two cards Free choice to call any number, 13. You've landed on the Ace of Clubs. Wouldn't it be mad if this was also the Ace of Clubs? Now, the Ace of Clubs is right here. At this point, the spectator's gonna be like, oh yeah, bit of a joke. But what about if I could prove to you that this was a card you were gonna choose? Because if I rub it on here, hang on a minute, you can now tip these cards out. The magnetic blank card will have stolen the blank card which is now face up and the double backer so you can get rid of that you can say look all these cards are red backs now if i rub this on my blue card mat this card actually turns blue so 
it gets better it gets better and not only that there's nothing else here so i said this cartridge gets better and better and better and the finale is gaffer's favorite kicker ending good old blank deck so that's how it works guys it's just a little bit of roughing balm um some magnets i mean if you do not have a card like this what i've done in the past is you could have something written in chinese which is a bit of a gag yeah honestly that does say the ace of clubs nah you're joking kicker blue kicker it is the only card in the deck but you probably will need the magnetic card because at some point you're going to have let's say you didn't have that magnetic card you would end up in a position when you could show the card but you've got to be careful of this blank card face up and you'd have to be very careful because you are going to have two cards now or seemingly two cards face down in this face up blank deck so that is the idea behind this card because this card will steal them and hide them inside the box so that's how i did it guys make sure to subscribe to the gaff academy smash the like button and we'll see you tomorrow and everything you see is potentially for sale if anyone's interested i've had a few emails gaffer do you sell anything i sell everything cheers apart from things like this because i can't print that cheers